Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at, of course, is a Marks 556 caboose. I went through all my tin litho and pulled this one out. You can see it's in less than perfect condition, but it's not terrible. But uh, I wanted to see what it would take to actually put a light in this caboose. So I took it apart, drilled a hole through it, and installed a rubber grommet with the infamous cup magnet. Now I left this magnet sideways instead of uh, riding on its edge that way. I left it sideways because since there's the magnet in the center rather than between the uh, two wheels, as this swings around a corner, that magnet has to have at least a bit of arc movement in it. So by putting it in the center and putting the disc parallel to the track, as you see, it makes up for any movement of the center as it goes around a corner. So let's throw this on here. This is a first test. I just got this assembled. So original tin litho with a built-in light. It works. So a really simple way to add a light to an original tin lift of a car. So really simple to make this. It uh, doesn't cost much, not more than a few dollars. And the nice thing about this, of course, is using this magnet, it's really simple to add a light to virtually any kind of car. Plastic cars, metal cars, original cars, modern cars, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, this really works. It's really simple and virtually indestructible. So uh, this will last forever. I can't think of anything that would destroy it rather than I mean, other than someone physically cutting it off. It's not going to wear out, that's for sure. And uh, the uh, only thing I need to do, of course, is uh, put a socket in here so I can just uh, put a screw, uh, screw the bulb into the socket instead of hardwiring it. But the principle is sound. It's just a matter now of perfecting it, making it work the best that it can. But so far, so good. And I have a lighted original tin litho caboose now. So anyway, I just wanted to do a video to document this. A really simple way to add, <coughs> excuse me, an internal light to a caboose. Uh, you could light virtually anything this way. Really simple, straightforward, easy to do. I did this in just a matter of minutes. So I just wanted to document it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.